When you drop things, they tend to break, and that's what happened to my four battery charger, my four cell lithium nickel cadmium nickel metal hydrate battery charger. I have it stuck to the wall, and the double sided tape let go, and it dropped about six feet onto concrete, and now it doesn't work properly. So let's uh, see if we can fix this one. Should be relatively simple, I hope. As you can see, channel three has a problem and it's not a defect in the unit. You see this unit I keep it stuck to the wall with double-sided tape and the double-sided tape failed. I'm just trying to peel it off here. The double-sided tape failed and this dropped about six feet onto a concrete floor and when I plugged it back in channel 3 doesn't work so I have a feeling that something's broken off on the inside. Okay I think something came loose in here. We're gonna open it up see if I can fix it because I'd really like to have all four channels working. There are times when I have four batteries to charge at once and charging three and waiting for them to charge before I can charge the fourth just isn't going to cut it. I did have a sixth battery charger version of this as well that I reviewed and silly me I sold it to a guy that wanted it for his uh, all his vape pen batteries that he was going through. So let's pop this one apart and see what broke. And today the smoke outside is even worse than it was yesterday. remove all the screws. I'm expecting that's probably going to be one of the uh, coils in here is uh, broken free from the board or something. It's, there's some coils on the board and I figure that, that normally they're glued down but maybe the glue got damaged and uh, one side of it broke open. That's what I figure probably happened on this. It was the third channel. That's the one that's got the problem. We'll just remove the board here if we can. And everything else falls apart at the same time. Ah, yes! It's exactly what's happened. Exactly what I thought happened. The little coil here has, uh, has broken. Right there. You can see the wire snapped. So I just have to repair that wire and that should uh, repair that, uh, that charge circuit. Don't want to lose any of these springs. So I'll just get everything out of the way here. All right, let's get to determine where the wire is broken and uh, fix it. I think it's broken right, right there. So, I think probably the easiest thing will be is to actually remove the coil completely from the circuit board. So that I can repair the broken wire and uh, try and get this thing working again. So here's where the wire is snapped right there. I can just move this back a bit. This is going to have a it's going to have a coating on the wire, so I'm going to lose one turn, but that it really shouldn't affect the operation of this at all. It's actually pretty stiff wire. How it managed to break is a good question. I'm going to have to sand this off because it said there's going to be a coating. This is magnet wire, so there's going to be a coating on here. So I'm just going to sand this off. We'll solder that back down to the board. To sand it, I'm going to use some aluminum oxide sandpaper. That seems to be pretty good for removing the enamel from wire. In it now. I'm 
There we go. Now, it's just a matter of removing the piece that's still stuck through the board here. I'm really going to have to get a new tip for this iron one of these days. This one's in pretty sad shape. This lead free solder is so hard to work with. It's going to do a buildup of, of proper leaded solder on here. We'll heat it up and push the thing through from the top. Like that. And then for the other wire, do the same over here, on this side. Okay, that should do it. Providing I don't drop this thing again and break something else. Now I gotta figure out how to put all these stupid slides back in. Hmm, how were they on? They were, they, these things went through the bases here, I remember that, and then they clipped onto these. These go in like this, turn sideways. The spring does two jobs. One, it pulls it forward like this so that it makes a good connection with the... Because uh, these, sit on, these sit below, right? And the spring comes through here to pull them up. I think that's how they're on there. You sit in like this. Them sit in the track. Pull all four of them up. I'm going to plug this uh, this cable in first. So get all four of them into their track. Plug the cable in. We'll reset the board. which sets the positive terminals down into place. And now I just have to connect the springs up to each of these. And the, the springs all go through the slot in here and hook into the bottom of the negative terminal. That's one. Hopefully the others will go in a little easier than that one. That's how they go in. It, it loops in this way and hooks up back. You can see the back end of the spring sitting up there. So that's the first one. And once I push that into place, that should hold that. Now we'll proceed with spring number two and see if I can get spring number two in any easier than spring number one. The spring one was a kind of a pain in the butt to get in, but the other should maybe go in a little easier. Now they figured out a process to do it. There. That's a little better. Yeah, there's number two in place. Okay, that's all four of them in place. That cover goes back on to hold everything together. And the noise starts, of course. So 
I'm just going to cut their lawn. Power up. Looks like they're all working. Let's try four batteries in this thing. See that they all switch on. There we go. There's my four batteries charging. We'll let the batteries charge up. Then I can use them for the next video. I'll show you guys what I've got here. This is a probably a fairly rare, probably a fairly rare piece. AM FM radio cassette, it records. It's a cassette recorder. And this thing's actually got some metal in it and a speaker. Let's see if we can get this thing to work. That's coming up next. That's why I had to fix the battery charger so I could charge the batteries up. We'll catch you in the next one real soon. Bye.